Mm. Hello everybody, welcome to this beautiful video on the top of Bray Head in Ireland. Spectacular view, eh? Such a beautiful, 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 beautiful view at the ocean to wherever you are in the world, sending peace, love and happiness and joy. So special. So precious. So, my name is Owen Fox and in this video I want to talk about ways in which to, the most important ways in which to raise our frequency and vibration, to feel happier and more peace and joy and creativity, inspiration, relief from stress and <laughs> to find well-being and energy also in life. So, some of us find it very important to think about, like, be careful what clothes we wear or what we eat, and that they are important, especially with the chemical ingestion. But what's more important to be careful about is being careful with the thoughts that you selectively think, because we're selective with our food, we're selective with our like dinner, we're selective with our clothes. But what's a hundred times more important is to be selective with our thoughts. So if we can get our mind right, that is the ultimate number one source of raising our vibration and frequency and allowing energy to dissipate based on trauma and hurt and pain from the past. So our how we contextual, contextualize and how we see and perceive and our perspective on life's events is the ultimately number one most important thing because that's where everything else flows from, all of our other selective decisions and choices. But other things to factor in to raise your frequency and vibration would definitely be um, learning to feel your emotions but and to let them express them, but, but in a conscious way where you don't let those heavy emotions hijack and take over your thoughts and your perceptions and your perspectives. Because usually that's what happens. Our emotions hijack our mind and our mind becomes very negative, which creates new uh, emotional upset and pain and conflict and drama. So if you can learn to do that, it's phenomenal. Other ways to raise our frequency and vibration are um, going to bed early or at least just getting enough sleep and enough rest. Um, I find overall balance to be extremely helpful in raising your vibration. Because if you do too much of anything, it becomes like sapping on you. If you do too little of something that's good, you don't do enough of it. It's out of balance and that also will... You have room to raise your vibration there. You're, you're hindering your vibration. So, what we what selective in our mind, selective in our diet. I think the lighter we eat, for sure, like from starting from vegetarian to, or starting even from semi-vegetarian to transition, if you eat a lot of meat or fish, then to vegetarian, then to vegan, and it doesn't have to be one hundred percent. It can be mostly, then even mostly, and then going on to raw foods, then going on to hitting more of the fruits, focusing on the fruit only, or the days and afternoons, etc. Then hitting more some juices or more and more fruit days in your life and then yeah that's pretty much phenomenal then you can include even some water fasting if you ever feel like it or even mix in dry fasting even for a few hours after waking up in the morning so highly recommend getting a berry in the morning and going to bed early especially going to bed early it's very important exercise will help raise your vibration too um, moving our body and body movement stretching could be dancing do, running cycling yoga um, anything that you enjoy walking up the mountain nature nature is a huge vibration raiser and a healer um, letting go of recontextualizing and learning from the past so you can let it go and you're not carrying a ball and chain around your leg dragging you back you want to be free from dramatic and tense relationships of anyone any kind whatsoever and that includes past friends or colleagues or family members or, or, or romantic relationships too in my life, there's basically nobody that I have baggage with in my life. And I just realized that today how blessed I am. And that's because I've done a lot of work and self-reflection and uh, self-awareness. So for me, I love exercising. And that is one thing. If you do too little or too much, again, it's not good. You want to hit the sweet, tender spot in the center. Uh, what else raises you? Yeah, essential oils are lovely. They really help your vibration too. Um, essential oils are very, very beautiful and heavenly. Add a few drops of lavender to your 
drop to your soles of your feet to sleep or else just in the day there's so many like some of my favorites are peppermint eucalyptus lavender and rosemary they're my four favorites typically and you can add any of them to the bath water like maybe five to ten drops um, breathing deep breathing or meditation are definitely ways to to relieve yourself to give you a relief and to clear yourself up clear your mind quieten your mind and then you allow in receptive thoughts and the more you raise your vibration and lighten your diet and the cleaning your body and the more you heal and become self-aware um, and heal your relationships and learn to master and control your mind and what be selective deliberate thinker the more you're open to receptivity of the divine or higher nature where you'll receive impulses and inspirations of being creative and making things or creative urges or impulses to be to say or do or, or be beautiful things so yeah it's extremely beautiful here I better get going everyone but I just felt inspired to make this video at the top of Brayhead in County Wicklow in Ireland I hope you've been liking it there's a lot of other things to do but um yeah Deep breathing, mindful, relaxing. Mind mastery is number one. Yeah, and having loving relationships, doing all this stuff to raise your frequency, all this stuff will help you have more loving, nurturing, uh, giving and receiving balanced relationships where you're neither used or abused and you're not neither need using or abusing anyone else too. Much more healthy dynamics in all of your life, including work, your body image, your self-worth, um, pretty much everything so you will have far more peace happiness joy love ability love is a frequency it's not something that you just love one person you don't love another person of course you can have romantic and sexual thoughts towards one or more people potentially of course but love is a frequency it's an energy it's it's like the sun it doesn't like pick on a tree and you don't love a few trees and you like these other trees Love is a state of being, and it is our natural state of being when we remove the sludge and the blockages uh, from our cells and energy systems. So, like, it's called unconditional love. The sun isn't conditional, like, it only shines on some trees because the, that's the way our love is. We have one, we, when we're tuned in, which it's not always the case necessarily because our vibration goes up and down depending on circumstances and our physical energy and this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, but otherwise, overall, love is for everybody, unconditional love. And it's really nice to tap higher and higher more into these frequencies, everybody, using nature and, and our mind and to focus on love and appreciation and gratitude and at least self-acceptance if we're feeling off or feeling not good. At least then we can accept ourselves when we find it tough to love and to appreciate and be grateful for things. So at least we can do stuff like find a thought that's a bit more relieving than the previous perspective and the way we're viewing things. So at least self-accept and accept others and then gradually change our vibration like moving up the gears of a bicycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. You don't just go from one to seven, you go, you go up the gears and that's the same with our vibration and how we can use our mind. Okay, cool. So Debbie Dallara says, Great insights and truths are being freely shared here. Please do yourself a favor and listen. Open your heart and listen <laughs> and learn. <laughs> Sorry. Hugs out and beautiful day there. Thanks, Debbie. That's really beautiful of you to say. Aw, so sweet. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. That's a nice thing. Happy. So I better go, everyone. Have a lovely day and make sure you get out in nature. Move your body. Breathe. Relax. Find relief. And be think grateful and gratitude. And look after your health and your body and just enjoy life because life's meant to be fun and to be enjoyed so do that okay take care lots of love and go easy and gentle on yourself because we're all learning and it takes time it takes a lot of time but lots of love we can do it right now a little improvement that's all that counts thanks for watching and don't forget thanks for sharing and liking uh, that's nice nice to share i feel happy to share with your people thanks have a good day